The mineral industry of Paraguay includes the production of cement, iron and steel, and petroleum derivatives. Paraguay has no known natural gas or oil reserves. To meet its crude oil and petroleum products demand, Paraguay relies completely on results of approximately 25,400 barrels per day, 4,040 cubic meters d BBL d 2006 est. The mining sector contributes little to the country's economy, accounting for only 0.1% of its gross domestic production GDP. Paraguay's tax exemptions on imports of equipment for natural gas and petroleum exploration, development, and production are expected to continue in the medium and long terms. Cement, natural gas, and petroleum investors have shown interest in the country, which could support continued economic growth and foreign direct investment FDI in new technologies well into the next decade. Production In 2006, Paraguay produced mostly cement, clays, iron ore, natural gas, pig iron, and steel. Paraguay's mineral reserves and resources were unidentified. Topic: <inaudible> Structure of the mineral industry. The mineral industry of Paraguay mostly consists of Paraguayan state-owned firms. The structure of the country's mineral industry would, however, change, particularly in the natural gas sector, to a privately and or joint venture-owned, government-regulated regime from one that was only government-owned Banco Central del Paraguay, 2007. FDI inflows to Mercosur increased to $25.1 billion in 2006 from $21 billion in 2005, or by 19.5%. Paraguay's FDI inflows increased to $116.6 million in 2006 from $74.6 million in 2005, which mostly reflected the high international prices of several commodities, such as cement, hydroelectric power, steel, sugar, textile oils, and wood products. Topic: Commodities. Topic: Iron and steel. Paraguay produced 118,000 metric tons T of crude steel in 2006 compared with 101,000 T in 2005, which was an increase of 16.8%. The increase in metal prices and higher output of pig iron provided this boost to the steel sector. The country produced 126,000 T of pig iron in 2006 compared with 124,000 T in 2005, which was an increase of 1.6%. Cement In 2006, government-owned Industria Nacional del Cemento Inc. was the only cement producer in Paraguay. In 2006, Inc. cement production was about the same level as that of 2005 550,000 t. In 2006, the National Customs Department registered almost 100,000 t of imported cement, 85% of Paraguay's consumption 620,000 t was satisfied by domestic production and 15% was imported. In June 2006, the joint venture of three cement enterprises, Carmago Correa Comentos S.A., and Votorantim Comentos of Brazil and Concrete Mix Co. of Paraguay expressed interest in investing $17 million to build a cement mill in the city of Mariano Roque Alonso in Paraguay. The mill would have an annual production capacity of 200,000 t, which would be sold domestically and internationally. The plant is expected to meet about 25% of the future cement needs of Paraguay. Topic natural gas Paraguay has no proven natural gas reserves and no domestic production and does not consume natural gas. In June 2006, however, the governments of Bolivia and Paraguay approved a plan to construct a pipeline from southern Bolivia to Asuncion, Paraguay. 
The pipeline would have an initial capacity of 700 million cubic feet per day and would require an investment of about $2 billion. Paraguay has attracted some interest from international natural gas companies, with CDES Energy SA, CDES, the Paraguayan subsidiary of CDES Oil and Gas Group PLC of the United Kingdom, announcing in early 2005 that CDES had successfully completed a production test at its INDEPENDENCIA 1 well in the Chaco region of Paraguay. Other companies that had signed exploration concessions with the Paraguayan government included Charco Resources PLC, HA and ER Exploraciones, and Hydroena Consultra. Charco had acquired two Paraguayan companies, Amerishur SA and Bohemia SA, and obtained the right to approximately 4.7 million hectares held under three applications. Two of the applications covered about 2.4 million hectares, which encompassed the Curupayati and the San Pedro blocks. The third concession was known as Canandeyu. In August 2005, the Congress of Paraguay approved two acts that granted Chaco subsidiary, Amerishur, two exploration concessions and one production permit for the Curupayati and the San Pedro blocks. As a requirement of the Paraguayan legislation, Charco was to select an area of no more than 800,000 hectares per block for its two concessions Curupayati and San Pedro in order to enter into a four-year exploration phase. Charco's future plans for its Paraguay properties included the analysis and interpretation of the historical seismic data for all locations to produce regional structural maps of key seismic horizons and opportunities for joint venture partnerships for exploration. In 2006, CDES planned to finance its property obligations by securing additional financing or through joint venture participation. The company also planned to continue exploration of deep Devonian gas in the Gabino Mendoza block. Although Paraguay has no conventional natural gas reserves, the U.S. Energy Information Administration estimates technically recoverable shale gas reserves of 75 trillion cubic feet. Topic. Petroleum State-owned Petroleos Paraguayos Petropar has a monopoly on all crude oil and petroleum product sales and imports in Paraguay. Petropar operates the country's sole refinery, the 7,500 barrels d 1,190 cubic meters d Villa Eliza facility. In 2006, Paraguay's petroleum consumption amounted to 28,000 barrels d, 4,500 cubic meters d. In September 2005, Paraguay and Venezuela discussed the possibility of building an oil refinery in Paraguay that could process Venezuela's heavy crude. This effort could help satisfy Paraguay's crude demand and Venezuela's supply to Paraguay could reach 15,000 barrels d 2,400 cubic meters d of crude in the form of gas oil. In February 2006, the Paraguayan government announced that crude oil had been discovered in the western Chaco region by CDES, but according to CDES, the reservoir was too tight to facilitate unassisted crude oil production. CDES planned to continue its exploration of shallow oil in the Amelia Well, which is located within the Boqueron block. Although no hydrocarbon reserves had been proven at the Amelia Prospect, it was considered the most potentially productive property of CDES with an estimated recoverable resource of 40 million barrels cubic meters of oil. Technically recoverable shale oil and condensate reserves for the country have been estimated at 3.8 billion barrels, with risked shale oil reserves being significant higher. Topic. Outlook Paraguay's economy is expected to continue to grow, but its GDP is likely to be highly dependent on the outcome of Mercosur's economic stability and growth in 2007. According to the Banco Central del Paraguay 2007 and the Economic Commission for Latin America and the Caribbean 2007, leading transnational companies are interested in investing in the Paraguayan mineral industry and, in particular, in the cement, natural gas, and petroleum sectors. As an exporter of hydroelectricity, the country is poised to gain from the continued FDI inflows into its economy, which represented an increase of more than 56% in 2006. 160 $16.6 billion, compared with that of 2005 $74.6 million. 
The cement industry is expected to grow in 2007 if the planned construction of a new mill by the joint venture of Carmargo, Concrete Mix, and Votorantim takes place. Annual production at the mill is expected to cover about 20% of Paraguay's future cement demand. The Paraguayan mineral fuel sector is set to continue its exploration activities during 2007 and beyond, owing to Cedes' and Charco's continued exploration efforts. In 2010, CIC Resources Inc. The same company that discovered the copper deposits in Chile, claims to have discovered 21 billion metric tons of titanium, which could be the biggest titanium deposit in the world, in Alto Parana near frontier with Brazil. <laughs> 